and welcome to another tips and tricks video. For this particular video, I want to answer some questions that customers and viewers have asked regarding the Apple Mail app. Specifically, they've been asking, can the Mail app allow your user to do things like CC, which is carbon copy, or BCC, which is black carbon copy or hidden carbon copy? The answer is yes. However, the trick is where to find those settings in the Mail app inside OS and Sierra. Let me show you. Let's get started. Okay, as always, we have a few teaching aids that I use to record these videos. From time to time, you see me zooming in, zooming out. This is to focus your attention on certain aspects of the operating system that you need to focus on. Also, from time to time, you can see that there are feedback on the display to show you that I'm clicking on my mouse. Now, as I was saying, some viewers, including you, have left comment asking on how they can do CC or BCC using the Mail app, similar to what you use in perhaps your web browser for your mail from Gmail, etc. Let me show you. So I'm going to launch my Mail app using my demo content. And this is what you would see if you've just set up your Mail account. No special settings. This is exactly what you will see. So we're going to change a few things here. I want to give you an exploration of what will happen if you want to compose a new mail. So I'm going to click on Compose. Now, if you notice, the button here have no label. So if this is the first time and you just don't know which button is for what, and you just can't wait for the label to appear, like you see here, this I have to wait a few seconds for it to appear, you can actually customize it first. Go to View. Go to Customize the toolbar. And what we're going to do now is that I want to set and show icon and text. This will make it easier to find out. So I'm going to click on New Message. So now I'm in New Message. And you notice that there's a 2, there's a CC, there's a subject, and this is my content. So I can say hello to all viewers. Okay, a typical thing from Kent. So I only have these three fields. How do I add the BCC or anything? Well, let's look at the toolbar or the menu bar on the top. So right now, I got File, I got Edit, I got View. And you notice that when I click on View, there's these options here. BCC Address Sphere, Reply to Address Sphere. So let me just check that. Click on that. Notice I have a BCC. Click on that. And then I got a Reply to. Click on that. Well, obviously, you have the CC Address Sphere. It's still there. So what are the differences? Two refers to your main people. So let's say you want to send it to someone. That's the two. This is your addressee, the people that you're going to send it to. CC are those that you also want to give them a copy, a carbon copy. So if they are not the addressee, they are not the people you want to send it to, but you just want them to receive it for reference. BCC means that anyone who's in the two or the CC do not know that you're sending this copy of email to someone else. It's Nice to do that in the sense that you're hiding it, but it's not very ethically right because you're hiding some communication. I would rather that you send it to and CC and then forward the email to people that you want, but that's up to you. A reply to is to force the users that when they click on the reply, they'll actually reply back to the address written here. And obviously you have your subject. So this is where you can customize your mail view. But in addition to that, let me just customize the toolbar again. Okay? And I'm going to show you that the toolbar here shows much more. You have send, header field, reply, attach, include attachment, format for the browser and stationery. All this are shown over here. And what are they? Okay, so if I click on the A, this opens up my text formatting. I can wave a mouse, click it to make it bold. Increase the size, give it a different font. So maybe I use chalkboard. Yeah, I can do it all over here. I can attach things by clicking on the attachment button there that loads what I want to attach. Maybe I want to attach a simple PDF, choose file, it attaches it there. I can even find photos. This will bring up my photos panel to find any photos that I have in my computer. I even have stationery. So I can actually customize and give a very beautiful stationary okay that's ready for me to use it so you say switch is now 30 years old or 31 years old Thir 21 okay so i say years old 
So very nice stationery. I can change it, maybe party view, maybe do an announcement, very cool things. So the purpose of this video, again, is to show you that you can customize how you want to send your email, what kind of content, and even your toolbar. I hope that you find this informative. Support us on social media, like us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and so much more. And as always, this is Ken from Switch. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for support. And see you next time in our next video from Switch. Bye.